Objects in Space is an open-world stealth space trading game where you navigate your ship like it were a submarine instead of fly it like it were a plane. In this video, we're going to show you how damage and engineering work. We're currently on the bridge of a heavily damaged Ceres-class light freighter with an incoming torpedo on our tail. As we can see from the damage display on our helm, our port wing has been completely destroyed, taking with it our communication and countermeasure systems, so we've no way to effectively avoid this torpedo. If it strikes our port side, it'll hit our primary hull. Lose that and it's game over. We're going to rotate the ship to avoid exposing our damage side to the incoming torpedo. Ouch. That hurt. The torps struck our bow. From the error message on this monitor, it looks like the explosion took out our sensor suite. If we move over to the engineering room, we can see the total damage to all our ship's modules. Module damage is independent of hull damage. Modules are more susceptible to EMP and electrical damage, while the hull is more vulnerable to explosive and impact damage. The outline of each component indicates its level of damage. Anything outlined in red is completely destroyed and must be replaced. Anything in yellow still works but has taken some damage, so is operating at lower efficiency. In order for a module to function, it needs one unbroken chain of working components running from left to right. They can be damaged and still work with reduced efficiency. These other empty slots can also be filled in with extra components, amplifying the module's abilities and building in redundancies should it take damage. The spare parts you have at your disposal are key. Any good ship's captain will always make sure to have a healthy inventory of spare parts before leaving port. We don't want to become stranded and require an expensive tow back to a friendly space station. Now that our sensor system is working again, we can reconnect the module. When we head back to the bridge, we can see it booting back up again. So this was a successful patch-up repair job of that one system. But if we want to fix our ship's hull, we'll need to get it back to a starbase and see a mechanic. Stay tuned for more updates and sign up to the mailing list at objectsgame.com.